We are back 813 at Today Exclusive this morning. You might remember yesterday we showed you that dramatic rescue. It happened down the Florida Keys. A 22-year-old swept out to sea, stranded then for hours. Okay, hope was fading, so was daylight, and then something incredible happened. And guess what? It was all caught on video. We are going to meet that fisherman and his mom, but first, a look at the remarkable rescue. A miracle rescue caught on camera. 22-year-old Dylan Gartenmeyer says he was free diving with friends in the Florida Keys Thursday, spearfishing without an oxygen tank when he suddenly became stranded at sea. The powerful Gulf Stream current taking over and pulling Dylan away. It just kind of got to a point where we got separated and never seen each other again. Even for the Florida native who grew up diving and spearfishing in the Keys, what happened next was unfamiliar territory. Dylan was swept further into the waters and held his breath for nearly two minutes. When he surfaced, he had drifted more than a mile away, the boat nearly out of sight. Back home, Dylan's mom, Tabby, got the call that her son was missing. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't talk. With the sun quickly setting, his mom gathered family and sprang into action. I know that we have to get out there because we're not going to be able to see him if we wait one more minute. Together on his grandfather's boat, they rushed to search for Dylan. Nearly 20 members of the U.S. Coast Guard also joining the urgent rescue mission. If someone's floating in the water, you're looking for a coconut-sized uh, object. And it's, it gets increasingly difficult as nighttime hours uh, approach. Dylan put together a makeshift raft, tying together three buoys he found near the reef. But he was soon surrounded by more danger. So I had a bunch of bait blowing up around me and everything. I knew that there was, you know, big fish eating those baits, so there were sharks going to be, you know, shortly behind them. Then, nearly four hours after he'd gone missing. I see a bow light, a console, and I could hear the motors. I was like, oh my God, that's my grandpa's boat. Dylan's raft was spotted from a distance. He was finally pulled on board. His family overcome with emotion. Videos of their reunion now going viral with nearly 40 million views on TikTok. So the second I got on the boat, my mom took my dive gear off. She was just hugging me, crying, happy to see me. It's a miracle we landed right on my son in a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Oh, my God, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, what a happy day. We're so happy to say that Dylan Gartenmeyer's mom, Tabby, are here with us this morning. We want to weep. That moment uh, was um, was just, it was definitely a miracle. Would you, before we get into what happened, will you describe what, why you think you found your son? It definitely had to be a miracle. It had to be God protecting him the whole time, our angels above, because for us to land right on him, you could see it's a needle in a haystack out there. Mm -hmm. Like, he was so smart to get the buoys to know that his head wasn't going to be enough for us to find him. Mm -hmm. But, Tabby, in that moment, wasn't it you that just said, stop slow the down. boat right here? Yes. Yeah. What was, I mean, mother's instinct? I or? felt like, I, I just felt like we needed to slow down at this moment because we're going to, if we're going past him, how are we going to see him? The sun is going down. And I'm just like, slow the boat down, slow oh the boat God. down. <laughs> and we slow down and we literally look to the right and Dylan is right there. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a miracle. Dylan, can we talk like, about you? Okay, so you go out doing what you love to do. You spear dive, you, you fish. You're very, very, very experienced. Yeah. And then something just terrifying happened. You kind of just got dragged away in the current. What were you thinking in those moments? So at that point, as I was just getting dragged further and further, and like I watched the boat just slowly getting smaller, it was definitely like, okay, this is uh, starting to get serious here for sure. You know these waters really well, and you knew there was a reef nearby. Yeah. So you swam over there. It, it sounded like you had, you really had your wits about you. You tied together the buoys. Mm -hmm. When did you, if ever, start to worry and think, mm -hmm. you know, I might be in some real trouble here? So once I'd gotten to the shoal and there was less than 10 feet of visibility, I could barely see from me to you away. Yeah. And um, the sun was setting at that point. I was just like, this is a... Uh, this is really getting serious now. You had a wetsuit on, but around you, were you in waters that had sharks and fish and jellyfish? What was what was around you? Oh, yeah. So the swim back to the uh, Western Sambas is where I was rescued. I was having man of wars and moon jellies and all types of stuff bouncing off me the whole time. Luckily, the wetsuit was there protecting me. You had your spear. I guess that yeah. might have come in handy if you had to. Yeah. The sun was going down, and I would just think the scariest part of all would have been nighttime, because how long were you out there, and what were you thinking when you were watching the sun drop? So yeah, just watching that sun drop is kind of like making my heart sink. I was like, oh, this is going to be a long night out here. Mm. And uh, 
So that's the idea with the buoys is tying those together and try to get up as high as I can, keep a little warmth and put less of my body in the water for any potential predators. Thank goodness for Jeez. your quick thinking, your experience, your mom's face just now when you said that, by the yeah, way, the yeah. anguish of mom. I mean, I know this is you what he loves. You replay it every time. You were a diver yeah. yourself, yeah. weren't you? Yeah, like I was spearfishing with him in my belly. You oh. know? So oh. It's like, I know he was born to do this. So yes. you understand. Yeah. But what ha so you get a call, he's yeah. missing, that what that happened? That was the worst call I ever got in my life because I worry every time he goes out because he pushes the limit sometimes and yeah. sometimes he night dives and goes down a hundred feet yeah. so just that scares you you know and you're like so every time I'm like all right Dill, are you home yet you know I just can't wait for him to get home and I got the call right after I got off of work and my ex-husband his dad said Tab, Dylan's been missing for an hour and the way he sounded it literally took my breath away I couldn't even breathe like everything just went away and I was just like standing there stuck and you replay that every time you get that feeling mm. so I passed the phone to my friend and she literally I couldn't even talk nothing I just was like stuck and she drives me to the house and we're all like Priscilla my niece and Joe while well, they literally are amazing because because of them they got the call and the coordinates and we didn't know our son was missing for hours like I didn't know my son was floating around the ocean for hours mm -hmm. by himself and um so so we get to Nana and Grandpa's house, and they already are on the boat, and it literally it took the whole family to come together within seconds because that's our baby. Like, that's our baby. <laughs> and that's what you do. That's how we are, and we are always going to be there and protect our family. And we got in that boat and took off down that canal because I'm like, it's a really long canal. You are you can't go the speed limit at this time. I'm like, I'm sorry, neighbors, but yeah. we're going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, we did 58 miles an hour nonstop, and we went through Cal Key. The hatches are flapping. I'm holding my niece Priscilla, my other friend here. I'm holding the hatches down. There's a little cockroach in the front flying up. I'm like, oh my God, what's happening? And I'm yeah. praying, and the sun is going down, and I'm like, we're okay. They said he was in 30 feet. Dylan has got this. I yeah. know he's okay. And yeah. at that moment, once I heard 30 feet, it kind of relieved me a little bit. I'm like, okay, he's good. I know he's got survival skills. And the Coast Guard was looking for yeah. you. Yeah, I was going to say, everyone was looking for you, but yeah. the Coast Guard didn't find you, the helicopters didn't find you. Your mom, your family on your grandpa's boat were the ones who found you. You yeah. said you knew the engine? Yep. Yeah, so just growing up, and I, as soon as I seen that console and I could hear the hum of those motors, I was like, oh, that's, that's definitely grandpa. my grandpa's boat. What, what was, we know what your mom was feeling. What were you feeling in that moment when you knew help was here? <laughs> so at first I seen them keep running to the east a little bit because they ended up a little further east yeah. than me. And I was like, oh, no, 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 please stop. Please stop. <laughs> and then I uh, seen them stop and just point right at me. I was like, Oh my God, they see me. <laughs> How did that happen? How? It's a miracle. I'm still in yes, awe. Like, yes. I'm still like, this is definitely a miracle. I oh. think it's a miracle. So yeah. we've all seen the video yeah. now uh -huh. of yeah. that moment of reunion when mom, Tabby, just yeah. holds on to you for dear life. Yeah. I wanted what to was, jump in and get them. Well, thought that wouldn't be good. What was it like to be in that moment when your mom, you get back on that boat and your mom's wrapping her arms around oh, you? Oh, the greatest oh relief God. ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baby. Wow. Now, this, of course, always begs the question, like, going, going, this is something you love, your whole family family loves has yeah. this kind of put it in perspective will you be doing this again oh yeah <laughs> he's like i'm going back. out the next good day let us ask mom. Mom, mom what do you think well he's a grown man it's his passion and he said you know what every time he goes out he's like this is what i love to do yeah. and as long as he's doing what he loves to do but he's safer and goes with people that will be there and make sure that he's close to the boat and watch him yeah you know because that's very important you go with experienced divers and yeah you know that that's a big deal for me, and that is a big deal. Yeah. So, what did happen to the guys on the boat? Did they just go away? So, yeah, I found out they didn't even call Coast Guard they last didn't. night. They and did they not. Just no. left. <laughs> they left you in the water. Yeah. This they, is weren't like, folks you knew very. These aren't good friends. No, these are just people I met on Facebook. <laughs> And, and this is what I didn't know we were going to yeah. Because I was just trying to get out there to go diving. Okay. But, okay. So we so learned a lesson on that. Upon miracle. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes you did. have a guardian angel, my yes, friend. You do. Yes, he does. Yes. 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 You do. I'm so glad you're and okay. One of them sitting right next yeah. to you, too. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right. oh. We love you guys. Oh. Dylan, Tabby, we love you. We're so happy. So you're happy here. for you. Now, don't make your mommy worry anymore. <laughs> yeah. We can't stand it. We can't. But just be careful. Do what you love. We're so happy you're here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or 
click the link right here.